Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought that I would show you all how I fill in my eyebrows. I have gotten a few requests from a few of my friends who have been following my channel and they like watching these videos. They said, hey, you know, show us how you fill in your brows because for beginners, we just really don't know how. So I thought today I would grab just a very easy pencil and show you all the simplest way to do it and how you can step it up a little bit. But before we get started, don't forget, give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I do post weekly. I am Kirsten, by the way, and you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer. Okay, so now that we are up close and personal and you can see everything that's going on, we are ready to start on our brows. And I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal brow stylist definer this little guy right here I always go for one that has a spoolie on one end so you can comb the brows and then a retractable side on the other to me those are the easiest to work with and they are really really great for beginners if you don't know exactly how to fill in your eyebrows just yet these are really great for you all so you all can learn with it and it's just it's super simple And what I do is I always go in and just kind of line out underneath the brow and then just kind of make my arch here and just take it down to the tail end. And then I just go over to my other side and do the same thing. Once I've done that, I like to go ahead and I go up top and just kind of finish lining them out. And always remember, it's okay to be a little more heavy handed towards the tail of the brow because that's where you want it to be a little bit darker. You want to go from a gradual light to dark at the end. You just kind of want to lighten up your hand towards the front and then you can put a little bit more pressure towards the back end. And so next I just like to go in and start filling in that tail. And once you have that filled in, you gradually just want to start lightly going more towards the center here. Okay, that's kind of where I like to stop going heavy handed is a little over halfway, about three fourths of the way through the brow is where I stop putting the most pressure. Now once you have that done, you're ready to take your brush or your pencil here and do some strokes just to kind of create that natural looking brow hair. And I always start mine, sometimes it just depends on what I'm feeling that day. Usually I'll start at the front and just lightly kind of feather it in until it meets the rest. And some days I'll start back here and then I'll just go a little lighter each time. Really what you feel comfortable with, there is no right or wrong way to do it. This is just what's easiest for me. And that way you don't have too much pressure. And I never like to take up top and fully box it in because I don't like boxy looking brows. I like my brows to look pretty natural. Some people prefer the boxy look. If you like the boxy look, then just kind of connect that up top um, by not connecting it, it gives you a much softer and much more natural look on the brows. Mm -hmm. 
once that our brows are filled in, you can take that spoolie end one more time. I always like to comb through it because once again, I do like a more natural looking brow. And by doing this, it does give you that more natural appearance. Now, if you like this, you could stop here. You don't have to do another step, but typically what I do is I like to take a concealer and I like to take a flat tipped brush and I do like to carve those out and it does help to sharpen them up and make them look just a little bit more precise. Now, if you want a really natural look, you could just stop here, do the rest of your makeup and you would be fine. But for me, typically I prefer to put a little bit of concealer around them. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a brush that looks like this, very just flat, and has a nice flat top, something that is smaller and more precise to where you can get in there and it's not gonna be too thick and just completely cover your brow. You want something that you can just lightly line it with and this size right here just always works best for me. Now I'm gonna use a little concealer just to carve those out. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and mine is in the shade Fair in case you're wondering if you're my complexion and you're looking for a good concealer. And I always just put concealer on one end of it and I take that end and that is how I start to line it out. Okay, now that you have concealer just around the brows, you can take that same brush and just lightly start to buff it out and blend it in with the rest of the skin. Alrighty, and this is your finished product here. This is what your brows should look like when you're done. Just very nice, very carved, and very elegant, very simple, very effortless to do and achieve. And it was so fun filming this video with you all, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, give it a huge thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you all here constantly and watching all my videos. I appreciate it so much, and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye, everyone.